Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how auto increment property works in MySQL or MariaDB. In the last video, we created a customer table with one of the column called the ID. That's the auto increment. Uh, that uh, from the name you can tell it means it will increase automatically. Okay, so let's experiment a few things with the auto increment and learn about it. What we are going to do here, I have written four scenarios. So auto increment, if you have defined in a table on a column, it will always start with the one one if you will put put some value different than one it will start from that number but by default it is going to start with the one if you will not put any value in that okay so let's go ahead and take a look here so our table is a customer table that we created in last video now you can select the data from this table you will see id customer first name last name age phone number date of birth and gender id customer is the column on which auto increment is enabled so if you want to see that more details so you will say describe customer and then it's going to give you that information on what are the data types of those column and if there is auto increment or primary key and all that is there okay so now if you see here I'm inserting a data in the customer table of first name last name age date of birth and all that but I did not put uh, the ID column here that means I'm not inserting any value by myself here so it should be inserting starting with the one so let's insert this value here and the one row is affected now select the data and you can see that it started with the one if I will go ahead and run this statement again you can change the value it doesn't really matter because we don't have primary key and all that on this column if I will run this statement again it's gonna increment the ID customer column value to the two so you can see that it is incrementing each time okay that's good now it's working that's the first scenario when you don't uh, put the, any value in that but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, manually add the value so the next part is uh, we are gonna tell this uh, ID customer column here and uh, let's say we've put 500 value here so instead of uh, 3 or 4 uh, we are jumping to 500 uh, you, so that tells us uh, if we would like to add uh, a value in uh, auto increment column we can insert it uh, so let's insert that and uh, now if we run the select statement uh, we should see that the 500 value is inserted but when the next value will be inserted let's say if we take this back so let's take a look actually on the second scenario so if you have manually added the value then next number will be from the large number value okay so that means right now if you notice first time we inserted one and two then we manually inserted 500 now if uh, later on we exclude that value let's say we don't want to include by ourselves and we rerun some uh, insert again the value will be whatever the large number you have so in this case it was 500 and the next value should be 501 so you can see right here okay so that's our second scenario we have covered if you would like to delete let's say you delete these records will not reset the auto increment now if I will go ahead and say delete let me say delete from customer where ID customer in I'm just uh, kind of there are many ways I could have just said this delete everything but uh, um, I just want to give you okay here so I deleted only four records here so this is a um, this is one of the way uh, I have enabled uh, safe mode on the workbench that's why I cannot uh, run delete from customer I can set that property if I want but uh, I, if here I have to provide the where clause so I just uh, kind of put a where clause and delete all the records okay so if I run select now there is no records here but if I will insert the value back uh, so we deleted all the records uh, so the value should be starting from one that's what our assumption is but uh, if you delete the record the value should be starting whatever the last value was so let's say if we will insert here and now the value we check it should be 502 so you see that so delete does not reset the auto increment column value okay so that's one of the thing if you will delete all the records from the table it is it is not going to reset the auto increment column value it will be keeping the last value whatever you had it and when you insert the next uh, record it will take the next one if you want to reset uh, instead of uh, delete so you have to say truncate table customer 
now once you truncate the table what will happen it will reset the auto increment table value as well now if we insert the value it will have one in auto increment so auto identity auto customer table has one okay so that was our four uh, options here uh, truncate will reset the auto increment uh, and you have learned that the lead does not uh, reset the auto increment uh, value okay so all these uh, there are there could be more scenarios uh, that I, I didn't cover here but uh, at least you know that auto increment is the property on a column that increase the value in that column automatically you do not have to insert the value but if you would like to insert manually you have the option uh, and uh, by deleting it does not get reset uh, but uh, if you will truncate the column uh, truncate the table then it will automatically reset to the very first number that's pretty much actually one in our case all right thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video